Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel and today we're back finally reviewing Pokemon Indigo League, which is only one season in the Kanto region. This is episode two, Emergency. If you haven't checked it out, all 52 of the well, 52 of the 82 episodes are live on Netflix. So there's 30 episodes missing. <clears throat> so I think you have to buy the DVD to watch all of them, unless you can find another way. But um, if you haven't checked, obviously, these episodes out, go check them out. Spoilers ahead, of course. If you don't know, obviously, they've been out for, what, 20-plus years? I think it was 99 when the series launched. Don't quote me on that. But, of course, subscribe, like, and enjoy. So this episode's really good because, obviously, it introduced us to the season's villains. It gave us a bit more, you know, you know characters involved in the world of Nurse Joy working at the Pokemon Center, Officer Jenny working as the police officer in the town of Viridian City. Uh, we've got Jesse, James and Meow, the trio of Team Rocket thugs who steal Pokemon for Giovanni, the leader of Team Rocket. Um, what you'll see going forward, I think this is the only episode where Team Rocket actually sound as scary as an, an intimidating as they do whereas going forward they have more of a comical side a lighter tone to their voice so and that's what put a bit more fear into this episode because obviously they had coughing and neckings and it seemed like a proper like it, like it looked very dangerous you know um how intimidating they were to say it's a kid's show you know they were gassing the pokemon center the pokemon center ended up blowing up at the end uh this is why peak. This is this is why this was the peak version of Pokemon. Incredible battles between Team Rocket and Ash, Misty doing random things like throwing a Goldeen out, and then it just flopping. Got, and then Team Rocket are like, "What the? What the hell just happened?" <laughs> and then Ash is like, "Was that your plan?" Misty's like, "Oh, I'm distracted." It was like, it's like they just threw that in for like no reason. There was no context to it. She just said, "Go Pokemon," and she went, "Go back." And I was like, "What?" But yeah, it was funny. You know, joining the Officer Jenny, they have a good relationship, a good comical timing. Um, it was awesome to see Pikachu and the rest of the Pikachus sort of cure the main Pikachu for the electricity running through his body, then again blowing the entire building up. So the, the first two episodes have been insane, you know, the destruction of the Sparrows, destruction of the Pokemon Center, and obviously heading off to Pewter C is next for Misty and Ash. It was a brilliant episode that set the tone for comical side things. To just keep us edging in new characters to develop the world of Pokemon. Like you saw a poster with the three legendary birds. And I think it was Entei. It looks like Arcanine, but then it's obviously a legendary Pokemon. Um, obviously, because when you play the game, you catch three birds and then the one legendary dog, depending on the starter. So, and I like how... Ash was talking to Oak going, I saw this Pokemon and it was Moltres he was referencing on the poster, whereas he saw Ho-Oh. So, and Oak's like, no one's ever saw this Pokemon. But that's why a Pokemon is so amazing. And it just sort of transitioned into a bit of a stupid phase because early in the days, Ash was never going to see these Pokemon. And then going forward, he sees Pokemon like Ho-Oh and Lugia, but just for the fun of it. It's good, but, you know, this is why these episodes are the best because it truly felt impossible for Ash to do anything until he was capturing Pokemon, until he was developed into a Pokemon master to meet Pokemon like Ho-Oh. So it was definitely a good balance of what to expect and what he was currently doing. Um, the episodes are very good flowing. You know, it, it's 22 minutes. And it's 22 minutes of good dialogue and action and development of the characters that miss the but there was such a dramatic scene between Officer Jenny and Ash. She went, hold on. And then she just drives through the uh, the town on her bike and then flies up the stairs and then flies through the entrance of the Pokemon Center. It's like, why was that so dramatic? And then the scene where she goes with the Pokemon Pokedex, she goes, this will solve everything. <laughs> I was just like, you could just tell it was 90s cartoon anime because everything was so over the top, everything was so overdone, but it was so brilliant and funny, and that's why I think kids will just laugh at it, because it was just done in such a brilliant way, a very unique the style as well of art, and such it's just such a brilliant time, so <clears throat> go check it out. I am, obviously, like I said, next uh, last week, I am aiming to do these daily, so just 
bear with me. I am trying to get through them as much, quick as possible. But obviously, the longer I take to get them out, the longer it's going to take for you guys to see. And with obviously 82 episodes, that'll take a very, very long time if I'm doing once a week. So hopefully, see another video tomorrow. Check out, obviously, the first episode, Pokemon I Choose You. I hope you enjoyed the video. And let me know down below if you're enjoying the video so far. Subscribe and like. Goodbye.